The haircut. One day, Dad said to Mum, Kipper's hair is getting really long again. It's time he had it cut. Oh dear, groaned Mum. I don't think I want to know about this. Ask me to clean a crocodile's teeth or cut a tiger's toenails, but don't ask me to cut Kipper's hair. Mum had been dreading cutting Kipper's hair ever since the last time she did it. The trouble was, Kipper made a terrible fuss. He just wouldn't keep still when Mum shampooed his hair, and he cried because she got a little drop of shampoo in his eye. But that was nothing compared to the trouble she had when she tried to give him the haircut. He wriggled and jiggled and squirmed and fidgeted so that Mum was cross with him. Then as soon as he did sit still, Mum made a little nick on his ear with the scissors. And after that, Kipper made a bigger fuss than ever. Surely it's not that difficult a job, said Dad. Difficult, difficult, exclaimed Mum. I'd rather polish a python or rinse a rhinoceros. Now who's making a fuss, said Dad. I know what, said Mum, giving Dad a funny, knowing sort of smile. You cut Kipper's hair. After all, I'm going out this afternoon, so it can be a nice little job for you. Well, um, uh, oh, all right then, said Dad. I don't think Kipper would give me any trouble. He just needs handling the right way. As soon as Mum had gone, Dad took Kipper up to the bathroom and started to comb his hair. Do you know, he said, in his jolliest voice, I heard of a little boy who made so much fuss when he had his hair cut that nobody was ever able to cut it. It grew so long that the boy couldn't see where he was going, and he kept bumping into doors and crashing into lampposts and tripping over the cat. I can't imagine you'd be as silly as that, Kipper. Oh, ouch, cried Kipper. You're hurting. Mum never hurts like that when she combs my hair. I thought we could wash your hair, and then I can give it a little cut, said Dad. Ooh, ow, wailed Kipper, wriggling and squirming away. I don't want my hair cut. This is going to be trickier than I thought, said Dad. But I've just had a brilliant idea. Dad persuaded Kipper to have his hair cut at a hairdresser's. He told Kipper that the hairdresser was so good at cutting hair that Kipper would really enjoy it. At first, Kipper wasn't too sure. So Dad said, I had my hair cut at a hairdresser when I was a little boy and I didn't make a fuss. I remember thinking it was good fun. Well, all right, said Kipper. But if going to a hairdresser is such fun, why does Mum always cut your hair? She doesn't always, said Dad. I'll tell you what. I'll have my hair cut at the same time as you. I bet you I won't make a fuss. So Dad took Kipper to a hairdresser in the high street. It was called Snip's Hair Salon. The shop looked very bright and attractive. Snip's is a good name for a hairdresser's. Thought Kipper. The first thing that happened to Kipper and Dad, once they were in the salon, was that they had their hair washed. Dad had his wash by an assistant called Andy, and Kipper had his wash by an assistant called Nicky. Much to his surprise, Kipper enjoyed having his hair washed by Nicky. She didn't wash it in the way Mum did it at home. Instead, Kipper sat with his back to the basin and he leaned backwards. The basin didn't have taps. It had a special hose that Nicky could control by pressing a little trigger on the end. Nicky was very careful not to let any water run onto Kipper's face. Next to Kipper, Andy was shampooing Dad's hair. Be careful with all this foam, Kipper heard Dad say. I don't want shampoo in my eyes. 
I hope you won't let the water run down my neck. You will make sure the water isn't too hot, won't you? Dad's making a bit of a fuss, thought Kipper. After the shampooing was finished, Andy and Nicky sat Dad and Kipper on different chairs in front of a big, long mirror. Excuse me, sir, said Nicky. What would you like me to do with Kipper's hair? Shall I give him a trim? Dad remembered how quickly Kipper's hair grew. He remembered the fuss Kipper made whenever Mum cut it. And last of all, he saw how expensive it was to have a haircut in the salon. So he said, no, not just a trim. I think you'd better cut it short. Yes, quite short. And how about you, sir? said Andy. Kipper looked at Dad, and Dad looked at Kipper. Then Dad said, oh, um, uh... Yes, I'd like mine quite short too. Snip, 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 went the scissors. Kipper looked sideways at Dad. Dad didn't look too happy. I bet he did make a fuss when he was a little boy, thought Kipper. Dad and Kipper were really pleased with their haircuts. You look different, Kipper told Dad. So do you, Kipper, said Dad. You look different too. You look quite grown up with short hair. It will be really easy to keep it tidy, said Kipper. No more having it pulled when Mum tries to comb it. And it will be so much easier to wash. I'm glad we went to Snips. And you see, I didn't make a fuss. Not once. No, you were a good boy, said Dad. I wonder what Mum will say when she sees our smart new haircuts. Mum was home already. When she opened the front door and saw Kipper and Dad with their new short haircuts, she couldn't believe her eyes. Do you know what she said? She said, Good gracious, you both look as if you've been run over by a lawnmower. Now that wasn't very nice, was it? 